Today we will be talking about how to create your own volcano, so get your science thinking caps on and let's begin. The first step is gathering our materials. So bring out your wax paper, safety goggles, baking soda, toilet paper, vinegar, food coloring, clay, soda can, dish soap, and rubber bands. Step one, you will need to get out your wax paper. This will protect any surface that you will be building on. Step two is grab your soda can. It needs to be emptied and you need to put it in the center of your wax paper. For step three and four, you will need to sculpt your clay around the soda can. The soda can is what keeps it up and then you will need to continue this and let it sit for an hour to dry. For this step, you will need to get a bowl and fill it halfway full of vinegar. And then you will need a tablespoon of dish soap and you can mix the two. This is the time where you can add food coloring if you wish. Once your mixture is complete, you will need to pour it in the center of the volcano. This can go in the can, around the can, but the clay should be able to keep it in the same place. Step seven, you will need to grab your toilet paper and make sure it is covered with the baking soda. The rubber bands are for the toilet paper to be sculpted so it can fit in the volcano. The next step is to putting the toilet paper rubber band roll that you created and shove it in the center of the volcano. Now that we have completed the last step, before we continue on, I would like you to write down what you think is going to happen and why you think it will happen. Once you have completed step eight, I would like you to step back and observe the type of changes that you see before you. Take some notes on the colors. Take some notes on what you have seen, how far the foam went, etc. Now that you have seen the type of reaction the volcano had, I would like you guys to think of what particular chemical reaction occurred. And what is a chemical reaction? A chemical reaction is any transformation from one set of chemicals onto another set. I would like you guys to think back of when the reaction occurred. What two type of chemicals caused this type of reaction in the volcano? It is when we added the baking soda and the vinegar. So those two were two separate chemicals, but when we put them together, it caused a reaction. This is the chemical reaction. This was just a standard volcano. There are many other different types of volcanoes that we can learn about. Here are some other ones. This one is a glow-in-the-dark volcano. This type of volcano is called the ketchup lava. You can actually make a volcano out of ketchup. This volcano is called the sparkly explosion. This one, you can put your own types of glitter and make it all different types of colors. This one is a dry ice volcano. This one can be a little bit more dangerous and you definitely need parental supervision with, but is a very cool reaction. This is a snow volcano. This one we may look into later in the year when the weather changes. We have learned to make a standard volcano and you have just seen the different types of volcanoes that you can make as well. What I would like you to do is find a volcano online or in books that we haven't talked about yet. I would like you to do specific research and maybe come into class and share with your other classmates some of your ideas. This was created by Maddie Luby with the help from Mashable.com, WikiHow.com, and ThoughtCo.com.